Chess friends, today I will play against Garry Kasparov. Garry Kimovich Kasparov is a Russian chess grandmaster, former world chess champion, writer, political activist and commentator. His peak rating of 2851, achieved in 1999, was the highest recorded until being surpassed by Magnus Carlsen in 2013. And subscribe my channel with a beautiful comment and like, so you can't miss any latest contents from us. Let's go, he begins with d4. d5? c4. Black have many lines, you can play c6, e6 or knight f6. I chooses to play e6. Knight f3? Knight f6. Gary played knight c3. You can play bishop e7 or bishop b4. c6 and also d takes c4. I played d takes c4. e3. White is targeting the pawn, you can play c6 or a6. a6. Bishop, takes c4. b5. Bishop, d3. Bishop, b7. Castle. c5. D takes c5. Bishop, takes c5. a3. Knight bd7. Gary played e4. But best move was b4. So, I played castle. Queen e2, rook c8. h3. Queen c7. Bishop e3. Bishop d6. My strategy, is that I keep my bishops on this square to create some troubles for Garry Kasparov's king. Knight e5, knight g6. There are many variations to attack white's territory. White should play well because I am stockfish man. Garry played rook a c1. Queen b8. Garry played bishop b1. It's not best move. Best move was bishop d4, protecting that square from the knight. Don't retreat your pieces until it's become close position to re-rotate. Remember, arrange your bishop and make a good structure, so that the knights cannot come to your territory. And you can't play e5, because the bishop will get open diagonal. Back to the position. Gary missed bishop d4, he played bishop b1. I played knight e5. Knight d2 by Gary. But best move was knight takes knight. Knight g6. Rook f d1. Bishop h2 check. King h1, I transfer his king to h1 because the bishop snipers this diagonal. It can create a multi-layer attack to the king if at least one pawn is removed. For example, if e5 pawn moves away, there is a variation where you can play knight f4, knight takes h3. G pawn can't take this because it's pinned to the king. Bishop, back to e5. Queen e1. Bishop, a8. Gary played g3. It's a good move but not the best, he wants f4. Actually best move was f3 making pawn structure like this where I will attack you king by playing knight h5, knight g3 check. Knight f4, h5, h4. But Gary missed f3, he played g3. h5, f4. Bishop, takes c3. Rook takes c3. He invites me to do rook exchange. But best move was b takes c3. You should use your rook to protect the second rank. Anyway rook takes rook, pawn takes rook. h4. c4. b takes c4. Knight takes c4. h takes g3. Bishop c5. Rook c8. Bishop d6. Queen b5. Knight d2. Queen h5. King g1. You might think queen can take the pawn in his previous move, but queen was targeting the rook. I played queen takes h3, I wants queen h2 check. Knight f1. 
Queen g4. I am threatening to play bishop takes e4 and knight h4, knight f3. Knight g2. No, I wouldn't play knight to g2, but I will seize that square by my knight. Knight e3. Queen f3. f5. Knight takes e4. You can't take the knight, because of knight takes d6. And I am threatening mate in 1, because king f2, every square is protected by the pawn and queen. So, bishop takes e4, it's not bishop takes e4. You could play? I played queen takes e4. I am supporting that square for the knight, and threatening mate in 1. So, queen takes g3. e takes f5. Queen h3. Knight h4. Rook f1. Rook c3. Bishop f4. f6. a4. Rook d3. King h2. Rook d2 check. King g1. g5. Bishop c7. g4. In this position Kasparov resigned. Let's see how the game will be end, stay with me, don't stop the video. Bishop a5. g takes h3. Bishop takes d2. Queen h1 check. King f2. Queen h2 check. King e1. Knight f3 check. Rook takes f3. Bishop takes f3. King f1. Queen e2 check. King g1. h2 mate. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care, see you in my next video.